Easter Seals Iowa Rural Solutions Program supports Iowa's farm family members with disabilities along with individuals who reside in towns of less than 2,500. The Easter Seals Iowa Assistive Technology Center supports the needs of Iowans and all of their durable medical equipment and assistive technology needs through our lending library, providing information, referral, and support. Assistive technology is really any device or gadget that an individual may use to help them to live, maybe to learn, work, whatever it might be to help them accomplish their goals. The Easter Seals Rural Solutions Program and the Assistive Technology Program work hand in hand. Many times I was residents who live in rural areas or the farm family members with disabilities do use and need assistive technology to accomplish their goals. Easter Seals Iowa supports Iowa farm family members from the traditional corn and soybean farmer to niche farmers as well as people who are perhaps starting a farming operation and or small business who reside in a rural area as it relates to Amberlin's situation. Opening a business to freeze dry uh, produce to make eating local more accessible year round and to communities that would not have it uh, affordably. How can I provide something that will make someone's money go farther with produce? And so that's kind of how this started. Freeze drying maintains the nutrients up to 97% as the day it goes in and it maintains for 20 years. And so why can't I freeze dry produce that would have gone bad, reclaim it and make more nutritious instant meals for people who have disabilities or people who have uh, sensory issues? As you see in my space, I want a marriage between creativity and farming that we don't really see in the past several years, especially since my disability. It really taught me a way to take a step back and notice the beauty in things. When Amberlynn first told me about their business, I thought it was just the coolest thing I've ever heard of. The Plantspiration name all the way to the colors picked for the walls and just their baseline desire to do better for the community and better for the environment was inspiring. I just knew that I needed help. Then Kim got plugged in and called me and she came and visited and saw the place and saw what I was trying to do and saw what I needed help with. I would lose things. My memory issues, I couldn't remember to eat. I couldn't remember basic things. I just kept saying, I. Either I can work or I can brush my teeth and feed myself. Those are my two options. <laughs> and Kim helped me with the assistive technology, which is like my Apple Watch, like it has timers. It runs my life and it keeps me on the routine that I need to stay on so that way I can function. It really was dependent to keep the rest of their life organized so that they could make it to appointments, so that they could take care of themselves, as well as make sure the, the occupation, the employment was on track with reminders, bills being paid. The only way to maintain employment is to have stability in other areas of your life. And with this situation, it was the perfect example of how a morning routine or an evening or a reminder can impact the employment so directly. And I think that the biggest change that I've really witnessed within Amber Lynn is feeling comfortable and confident to express those needs on a more day-to-day -day basis just being able to be a stronger advocate for themselves. This work has given me purpose. It's helped empower me. It's helped feel like I am a person again. <laughs> and that getting to feel old glimpses of myself, it's given me community and it's given me more connections. And um, yeah, it has felt very fulfilling.